Okay, seeing parents of little ones usually want to spend every second they can with their kids and vice versa, but there are times you just have to be apart for many reasons. Separation <laughs> anxiety can happen just as much in children as it can with the adults, but it's much harder to deal with the youngsters. For some help in quelling fears, we turn to Gail Bell of Parenting Power, one of her regular visits. Good morning. Lovely to see you as always. Thanks for having us. Okay, so yes, kids can suffer from this, adults mm -hmm. can suffer from mm -hmm. this. How would you, I guess, uh, start off by defining it? Well, I think it's, you know, it comes in many shapes and forms. With right. little one, it's often the tears and the hanging, literally, physically yeah. hanging onto you, like you're pulling them off. Um, parents, sometimes it's fear and don't worry, you'll be okay. Well, it's telling them not to worry is almost setting them up. Should I be worried? Right. Right. And it can carry on if we don't control control it and, and make a plan around it with teenagers. I mean, I've been out to dinners where, um, you know, another couple and their teenagers calling like every 10 minutes. Wow. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean, or texting. I guess they text now. Would so hope for that. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And, and, you know, why are you answering your phone? They're, they're fine. So I think it's apparent your job is to love them, feed them, and keep them safe. Right. And I don't think you'll leave your children in a situation, whether it's school or anywhere, where, where you don't feel was safe for them. So we need to allow them to have those opportunities and allow them to know that they can deal with the feelings they're having. So they might be nervous. Right. Oh, well. They might hate it. Oh, well. Okay, so I mean, if we uh, are experiencing this in, in teenagehood, it's probably originated way back when. So, Bingo. <laughs> so let's, let's sort of start at the beginning. And then. it's 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 never too late, but let's encourage parents to know that your kids are okay and you're okay and yeah. start early. So what do you do? You have you drop your kid off at you know first time at daycare um, mm -hmm. for a weeks on end. Your child is hanging on to your pant leg. What do you do? Well, you make a plan. So it's all about making the plan and then how we respond in the moment, not react. So we don't want to talk a lot in the moment because that, that's what they want. They've just engaged you. They've kept you there, right? right? So you may have a cue saying, I love you. I'll be back at 1130 and you leave. You may want to give the teacher a heads up. Teachers are fantastic mm -hmm. or caregivers or coaches or swimming instructors or instructors of, of any. You know, even this, this all came up because of kids not wanting their parents, uh, not wanting to play soccer. Right. There's, you know, soccer just started. The little soccer league just started. And parents are like, they won't even, they just hang on to my, well, you know what? Leave. But this, that's exactly, okay, so that is exactly what happened to us last year. Okay. And unfortunately, so I think it's the reason my daughter didn't really take to it because she didn't actually play mm. because we were there. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't engage. Right. So we should have just left. Right. And there might be a rule where parents have to stay. Then find a great, uh, then, you know, if you have to stay, which isn't very often, um, then stop talking to them. Stop saying, oh, come on, you'll have fun. And right. da -da. just because they, they just want that attention. So if they're not getting the attention from you and they're actually observing that the kids are having fun, and then after, don't get in the car and start the lecture. Just say, okay, we're going back on Wednesday. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah. Um, is there a point though where it kind of like you need to start seeking maybe additional oh. resources or additional help where it's just like it's not letting up you're dropping your kid and it's been going on for months or... right and if it's been going on for months for sure because there's probably two two reasons you know two parties involved in why it's been going right. on for months so just don't be afraid to ask for help we all need help in different things mm -hmm. right so um it's all about going to someone to say you know, can you help us? Can you help us make a plan? And, and you can work through this. Um, and very quickly, Gail, I guess when, what if the, the parent is experiencing it more mm. than the child? Which, which is, is an honest feeling. Yeah. So acknowledge your feelings, you know, um, and, but know that your child's reading your emotions. Parents right. stay way less emotional and don't get the emotions involved if they have a plan too. So it, does, mm. it's, it is about making a plan and what you're going to say and how you're going to respond versus mm -hmm. react in the moment. And know that you might feel really sad, but turn around the corner and cry if you have to. Don't cry in front of them. They are little sponges. You're absolutely oh, right. Oh, and they're so capable. Yes. They're so capable. They are. ParentingPower.ca is the way to find uh, Gail. Thank you so much for this. You bet. We're